are these people? Now, we talked about right. how Israel was taking out journalists. Um, we we also got an article. Of, I brought a quick one from Indie Media Award honoree uh, Kyle Anzalone of the Libertarian Institute in Anti-War. All right, also Conflicts of Interest. Uh, sign up for them if you're not on uh, YouTube. The IDF bombs the tent of journalists. Wow, where have we seen that before? The IDF dropped a bomb yep. on a tent sh sheltering journalists covering the situation at the Al-Aqsa Martyrs, Martyrs Hospital. <laughs> on Monday, journalists Haidar, Ibrahim Al-Mustar, Al -Mustar, and several others experienced serious injuries when an Israeli munition hit a tent near the hospital in central Gaza. Yusuf al-Hindi, a rescue worker, told Middle East Eye, quote, all the contents in the, in the tent are journalistic equipment. Ah, they don't want any evidence of whatever's about to happen is basically what's happening. According to the Gaza Media Ministry, Masadar is the 163rd journalist killed over the past nine months. A rate of over four reporters per week. The mass killing of journalists has left a shroud over the situation in Gaza and has allowed Tel Aviv to hide many of its war crimes in the Strip, which is exactly why they're murdering the journalists. Sadr is one of the of over 50 people killed in the in, across Gaza on Monday alone. At least 39,000 Palestinians have been killed in the Israeli onslaught over the past nine months. According to the doctors we just spoke to, they think it's over 90,000. A doctor at the Al-Aqsa yep. Hospital... <sighs> That it was the second time an Israeli has recently struck a tent near the facility. Um, Khalil al Dakran told Middle East Eye, quote, this shows the continuation of the genocide and the massacres in the Gaza Strip. That's very dangerous because hospitals provide health services while citizens are being targeted. Tel Aviv, of course, has often bombed civil uh, civilian facilities in Gaza, claiming that members of Hamas are present. Israeli officials have authorized their forces to kill scores of civilians if they're targeting a member of an armed Palestinian group. I think it's an average of, you're allowed up to 10 civilian deaths per Hamas member, I believe was the number that we saw last. I do believe, do you believe that was correct? Wow. Which I'm sure is an under, under, understated number. Mm -hmm. You know? Unlike an organization that's funded by Jeffrey Katzenberg, we are funded by our users and by the people watching now, and we love you for it. Um, please, if you can, and if you can't, enjoy the show, watch the show, but support independent media because we need it more than ever to challenge the corporate crap that's out there. You can do so by any of the links there or by going to co-fee.com slash Indie News Network as well. We're the only ones telling it like it is out here. Because corporate media sure ain't telling you what's going on with this. Okay, they're trying to bury this stuff. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to make it inconvenient and distasteful for people to even discuss. We're not going to do it, and we're not going to turn away. And we're going to keep keep spitting. 